What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. I'm Jackie Shea, just in case you're new here, welcome to my channel. So my last video was a little update, a little bit of aftermath footage from Hurricane Zeta in Venice, Louisiana. I just got back home and guess what? I came home to another hurricane. <laughs> We're all okay from Hurricane Zeta, but I came home to Hurricane Ada. I mean, we didn't get hit directly, thank you Jesus but we felt a lot of effects from it. A lot of rain, a lot, a lot, a lot of rain. So I've been spending a lot of time inside in my cozy clothes, my, my leggings and my pajamas and sweatpants and stuff. So my point is I've been craving some fall cooking, some cozy, warm, spend the day inside fall cooking, okay? When I think of fall food and fall cooking, warm, cozy food, I think of soup. It's comforting, it's satisfying, it's savory, and, and it's easy. And, and it can be super healthy while being incredibly delicious. I have some ground deer meat that I wanna include in today's recipe. You don't need ground deer meat, you can use ground beef or ground turkey, ground chicken, or you don't even need meat at all for this recipe if you don't wanna use meat. I am really excited to try this because today I'm making a soup for the first time in my Instant Pot, okay? If you don't know what an Instant Pot is, this is what it looks like. It's not a crock pot, it's a pressure cooker. So it's like faster than a crock pot. I think my cook time on this today is eight minutes. That's what I like. I can't believe some of the stuff I make in an Instant Pot that's not only comes out perfect, but it's fast and literally no effort to me whatsoever. You just throw it all in the pot, press some buttons, and I'll pop the ingredient list right here. Take a screenshot. <laughs> okay, so to get your ingredients together, go to your uh, grocery store, Get yourself a glass of wine, put your pajamas on, get your Instant Pot out, or run to Walmart real quick and go get yourself an Instant Pot. So really I think what's gonna take the longest out of this whole recipe is going to be cooking your deer meat or your meat of choice, and then the chopping too is gonna take you the longest out of everything right now to, uh, for this recipe today. So I have about a pound here of just plain ground deer meat. Uh, I'll show you that in a second. Uh, but I have it pre-cooked. I did this yesterday. And make sure everything's just ready to dump in the Instant Pot. Literally, that's all you gotta do is just chop it up, throw it in there, press some buttons, and you're done. It's awesome. I'm gonna get to chopping. See y'all in a second. Veggies are chopped. Whoops. Now, I'm gonna rinse and drain my beans. I'm using the chicken flavored bone broth again. Um, I used this in a previous cooking video. Bone broth has a lot of health benefits. That's the one I'm using. I can put a link in the description box below on some information about the health benefits of bone broth. I did in a previous cooking video, but in case you missed it, if, if you missed it, it's right up here. I love it. It tastes just like, you know, really good chicken broth. It's delicious. So I'm using four cups of this. With the beans, I got some low sodium red kidney beans, seasonings, ground cumin, chili powder, and uh, some oregano. I have my beans rinsed and drained right here in the strainer. This whole entire thing is four cups. So we're just gonna add that whole thing. I just dumped in the four cups of bone broth. Now I got all my onion, bell pepper, and tomato in here. Just dump them in. Don't splash it. Now my beans. Look at my delicious ground deer meat here. Put that whole thing in. So bone broth. Oh, the cauliflower rice. Oh my gosh. I can't believe I forgot the cauliflower, cauliflower rice. Oh my gosh, let me go get it for you, hold on. This is riced cauliflower, okay? Like the vegetable cauliflower, but they like cut it or shred it in a way that it mimics rice. So it is an excellent low carb option for rice. If you haven't heard of rice cauliflower, which I'm sure you have, it's gotten so popular in the past you know, year or so. So since I forgot about it, it's uh, frozen. But I don't know, maybe that's not a problem. I don't know. What it looks like. I mean, it's frozen, so can you really get an idea? It's like 
It looks like rice, you know? Shoot. I don't know if I can put it in there frozen. Should I try it? <laughs> I'm gonna try it, I'm gonna try it. So it calls for two cups, but I'm gonna put in like maybe, let's see, four servings is three fourth a cup. That's a lot, and I spilled it. Okay, well, let's just put it in like that. Whatever. I'm gonna do my oregano. It calls for, like, I think a teaspoon. As you probably know, I don't like to measure. So, I'm just gonna dump as much as we want in there. You can't go wrong with these seasonings. I love oregano. I love cumin. I love cumin. One of my favorite seasonings. And some, can you see it's so bright? About a teaspoon of that, too. And then, oh, I'm gonna do some salt also. Okay, are you ready? All you do, oh, I got it on backwards. Eight minutes, eight minutes. So you basically put it on pressure cook, make sure the pressure's on high, make sure that's off, the keep warm's off, and, and then you put the time in with this, these buttons here, you can adjust it. I put it on eight minutes, so it's gonna turn on. We'll put this on, see how it goes for eight minutes. My pot just went off. It's ready, it says off on the screen. And I can tell because it smells really good actually. Like I gotta say, I was a little nervous, okay? Which I'm still speaking too soon. It could still not taste good. <laughs> but still, I gotta say, I'm very proud of myself so far. I'm gonna pour another glass of wine. This is the wine of choice tonight. Can you see it? Wente, Wente, Morning Fog Chardonnay. Love a good Chardonnay. That's enough. Okay, let's open this and see what's going on. So, it's done. Ooh, don't wanna unplug it. It smells amazing. So, the nail is up, so you have to, like, oh, whoa, jeez. Release the pressure. <laughs> So the little nail right there just drops. That means all the pressure is released. Now we can open it. So, so you do that. You kind of you kind of move this this like lever thing over, and it all that steam comes out like you saw. And then you let it out. You let it release, and then that little nail will drop. The pressure is released. There's no pressure in there anymore. So you can go ahead and open it. Oh my gosh! <gasps> wow. No way. No way. Shut up. What? This is freaking awesome. Okay, I officially love this pot. Oh my gosh, you're kidding me. Look, look at, please, let me share with you what I'm looking at right now. So this is what I am looking at right now. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Oh, wow. Oh my God. It looks like soup. It smells really good. And I think that's what's making me more excited right now is the smell. Mm. The smell is filling up my house with cozy soup smell. Oh, it's going to be good. Oh, I made this. I made soup with my Instant Pot. <laughs> so now what we have to do, oh my gosh. I'm so excited about this. Wow, you know what I'm gonna do next? I'm gonna do some um, boiled fish maybe in the pot. Wow, oh my gosh. Got a bowl, I need some avocado. Let's see. Oh, let me get the spinach really quick. Cause I think the point of having the like hot soup in the spinach is like so it wilts a little bit. I hope. I can't believe I done this. Oh yeah. A nice big bowl of soup. Check this out. Oh, you can't see what I'm doing out here. All right, so I'm gonna do some spinach on the top. I think that's how you do that. Oh, I'm not too sure about that. And then avocado. Oh, so one thing I also love about this recipe 
is it's got beans in it. Beans are great. They're actually really great. They're packed with fiber. Fiber is excellent for maintaining satisfaction for feeling full for longer and not like a nasty full like not like a oh i ate too much full like like a just satisfied feeling and like curbing cravings curbing your appetite making you want to eat less food so if you're one of those people who loves to eat too much try adding foods to your diet that are higher in fiber and more satisfying so beans is a big one i love beans for that reason because me I can eat a lot of food. An entire bag of chips, a whole box of cereal, I can do it, okay? And that's not always good for maintaining a good physique or maintaining a good body weight. So, so I like to eat foods that are high in fiber, really satisfying, really filling, that are healthy and clean, that don't make you feel gross, you know? That's also uh, healthy fats too, like avocados, they do the same thing, the rice, cauliflower, vegetables, curbing appetite. Uh, because I know, I think a lot of people struggle with that, uh, especially today. We're gonna get a little dollop of sour cream. Oh, this looks so good! Oh, and we're gonna add some salsa too. It's like a nice scoop of salsa. I'm ready to taste it. Try it now for the first time. What? I'm gonna mix. Oh, the spinach wilted really nicely, actually, so that's good. Get a good bite with some avocado. Oh my god, I'm seriously so happy right now. I can't believe I just made this. And oh, with my fresh ground deer meat. Oh, and this avocado and the beans, the sour cream. It's everything you want in a soup. I'm in love with, this is my new favorite thing. All right, I completely annihilated this soup. I just had to, I had to put the camera down and just eat it because I was so hungry and I, it was so good. I'm not gonna lie, I think I'm about to go get seconds. Another thing I didn't get to make a, a complete video of uh, from when I was in Venice, uh, right before the hurricane came through, uh, we did a night of flounder gigging, which is really cool. So I'll roll some clips in a second. But um, we only got one, so I didn't really get to make a complete full video on it. I hope you all are having a great fall so far. Uh, despite the craziness of the world and I really hope you enjoy this recipe. I, I hope you enjoy this video I really hope you get to enjoy the recipe because it's it's good You better make this because I'm telling you you're missing out if you don't I'm gonna finish my night I'm probably gonna get seconds of this soup. I'm gonna watch some movie on Netflix and I'll see you guys in my next video Don't forget to like this video if you liked it hit the subscribe button too if you haven't already because I'd love to have you here on my channel and I'll see you guys in my next video Push down hard. Ooh. I can't get my fingers on here. All right, ready? Gone? Yeah. Ooh, that's a good one. Wow. Look at that it. One. Look at that. Oh, look at his teeth. Nice flounder. This is nice. How many inches do you think that is? 20. Two. Look how his eyes are like on the top of his head. He's got no eyes on the other side. Show him the white side. It's crazy. That, yeah. Nice. Yeah, if we lay it on the ground, we can get an yeah. accurate Cape Cod measurement. Oh, oh it's an accurate gosh. Cape Cod measurement. Huh. Your shoe. A foot with the rainbow crocs. <laughs> it's yeah. almost two, babe. Yeah, you got. That's wow. pretty nice. You, you got 21 and a half inches, I would say. No way. Yeah. That's a good one. Oh, yeah. Right. Hold him one time. To shine from that way? Who, me? Yeah. It died. It's really weak. Okay. We oh, I have Super this. weak. I mean, I don't think that's doing anything. It, it doesn't look so? good? No, oh, this is good right here. Oh, yeah, yeah, this is fine. This is fine. So what did you want me to do? Show us Tell him it's your first flounder. Whatever it's you It's not my first flounder. Oh, oh you still tell him it's your oh, first flounder. You, you a pro. <laughs>
This is my second flounder. <laughs> But I've caught one on like rod and reel a long time ago, like one time. Was it that big? No. No. No, it was not this big. But, you know, I never catch them. I, I hardly even know how to fillet them. Yeah. Really you fillet both them. sides, right? Yeah. You, can, you got to debunt them and stuff them? You That's got what all we the did crabs. With my last one. That's what we did my last week. You got all the crabs for crab meat and stuff them. And stuff them with that? Yeah. Ooh, that sounds good. See how little their nice. pectoral yeah, fins yeah. are because they barely yeah. use them. It's all about the, the one on the oh, other yeah. side is even smaller. She, you so they don't, that one. The one on the other side is even smaller. Yeah. Yeah. Do they have any? Um, oh, on this side. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's like, even smaller. Yeah. Do they have any like prickly parts on them or like any poke? No, parts? just teeth. Just teeth. That's weird. Yeah, they're actually very aggressive predators. They look like it. They look silly.